So I've got about four months until I start my through hike of the Colorado Trail. So you know what that means. I gotta start training. So the Colorado Trail is about 500 miles long and it goes from Denver to Durango. I'm gonna have only a month to complete this. A month to do about 500 miles. So I gotta get my butt in gear. So today I just wanna tell you guys about my training plan and what my plans are between now and then. By the way, I'm totally multitasking right now. I'm dog sitting. This is my golden retriever friend, Betty. I'm taking her out for a hike and also making this video at the same time. So in order to finish the CT in the span of a month, I'm gonna have to average about 16 to 17 miles per day. And this 16 to 17 miles a day doesn't account for rest days. So if I wanna have any days off, I'm gonna have to pull some big miles. This is definitely in the realm of possibility because on average, it takes people between four and six weeks to complete the trial, but I just, I really wanna have a good time doing it. And I am on a strict time frame. So if I wanna make it all the way in time, I really gotta prepare myself ahead of time. And not only do I wanna make it on time, but I wanna have fun while doing it. I don't wanna just be exhausted and sore the whole time. So I'm doing some training ahead of time. And that training has started this week. So how am I gonna prepare myself? First and foremost, I'm gonna hike. I know this sounds obvious, and it's not that I don't hike in the winter as well, but a lot of my weekends over the winter and into spring have been taken up by skiing. I'm not a good skier by any means, but I am a very regular skier. I go a lot with my ski friends during the ski season, and ski season in Colorado is pretty long generally. But this is the point where we've kind of reached the tail end of it. Some resorts are open for a few more weeks, and I might go, you know, a couple more times. But from this point, I'm really switching to hiking and I'm giving myself a minimum hiking requirement every week just to keep myself on track. Now that we're a little ways into spring, it's not getting dark here until about 7.30 p.m. So at least two nights a week, I need to get myself out hiking after work. I have a favorite after work hike, Mount Sanitas, which is only a little over three miles, but you get a lot of bang for your buck. You get over a thousand feet of elevation gain in the first mile. It's a short hike, but it's tough. So I feel like doing that hike will really help work my hiking muscles, even if I'm not doing big miles after work. But my big plan is probably to, to do between three and six miles on these after work hikes. I'm also gonna try to hike twice every weekend. And because I'll have more time on the weekends, I will do longer hikes. Right now I'm averaging about eight miles on my weekend hikes, but obviously I'm gonna start making these longer. As I get closer to the start date of my CT through hike, I'd also anticipate that my weekend hikes, in addition to getting longer, will also get more difficult. I'll choose hikes that have more elevation gain a little later in the season. So right now I'm just trying to, you know, get back into normal hiking shape, get out of this winter shape that I've been in. But especially here in the summer, that's when you can go hiking up into the high elevations, like up into the high country. And so I'll probably start doing hikes that are higher elevation, more difficult and longer. My weeknight hikes though will pretty much just be in Boulder. So I'll probably, those will be pretty consistent. Those won't really probably get more difficult or anything as time goes by. Right now I'm really just trying to get in hiking shape, but eventually I'm gonna add on my backpack to these training hikes as well. Cause I, I mean, I feel like putting on a backpack is like a whole different ball game from just hiking. And so I really need to start building up those muscles as well. Like I need my muscles to really be a lot fitter when I get that heavy backpack on my back, which I'm gonna have on the CT, but I'm not quite prepared for that yet. So I'm starting just with regular hiking. In the next month or two, I'll also add my backpack. In addition, I also have several backpacking trips coming up ahead of the CT. These are obviously shorter backpacking trips than the CT. So a little later in the spring, I'm gonna be doing the 76 mile Foothills Trail, which is in North Carolina and South Carolina. That really kicks off my backpacking season. But in addition to that, I have several Colorado backpacking trips coming up as well. These are just going to be weekend trips, but I think I have maybe five or six backpacking weekend trips planned ahead of the CT. So that'll also obviously be great practice. And I feel like it'll be good for a little shakedown hikes. I mean, I've really got my gear dialed in at this point, but it never can hurt to get out there and practice and be like, you know, after a long winter and be like, oh, do I really need this thing or do I not? 
One of my goals for the CT is also to eat a lot healthier than I did on my Appalachian Trail through hike. So it'll also give me a chance to test out some different foods, see what I like, see what I don't like. My stomach gets a little bit sensitive at high elevation and because the Colorado Trail is in Colorado, a lot of it will be at high elevation. So I'll kind of get to see what healthier foods my stomach will agree with when I'm at higher elevation, if that makes sense. I really ate like crap though on the AT and I really paid for it with my energy levels. So I'm really trying to avoid that this time around. And I think the CT is gonna be a really good practice hike for my next like long, long trail, such as the PCT. So food is definitely something that I'm gonna be trying to do better at on this hike. In addition to the hiking and backpacking that I have planned, I'm also doing high intensity interval training workouts. I'm a big Beachbody On Demand fan, which if you guys are not familiar, it's a company that has all of these online workouts. I pay monthly, I think I pay like $10 a month to have these unlimited workouts that I can do and go through with. Beachbody is actually a multi-level marketing company, which I am not into MLMs at all, but I just love the workouts with Beachbody so much that I still use them even though it's an MLM. And I'm, I'm not a Beachbody coach or anything, so I'm not trying to sell you on the Beachbody workouts. I'm just letting you know what I'm doing. I'm a huge Sean T fan. Sean T is one of the trainers with Beachbody. He does the Insanity series. So Sean T has multiple workout programs of varying lengths. Right now I'm doing the Insanity Max 30 workouts. I'm not following his program per se, which is a five day a week program but I am regularly doing his workouts. He, there's a phase one of Insanity Max 30 and there's a phase two. I'm on phase two of those workouts right now and I'm trying to do those at least four days a week. They're pretty intense, but these videos are only about 33 minutes long. So I can do them on my lunch break from work, especially because I'm still working remotely right now. And I feel like I get in a really great intense cardio workout in only 33 minutes. So I'm a huge fan of those. And I notice every time I do one of his programs, my fitness really improves. So yeah, that's my plan for now. Doing four days a week at least of hiking, doing four days a week at least of these high intensity, high intensity interval training workouts, adding my backpack eventually to my hikes, doing several backpack shorter backpacking trips ahead of the CT and by the way this is really just the minimum that I'm trying to do each week if on some weeks I have more time and more energy to do more hit workouts or do more hikes I'm definitely going to this is just the minimum number I'm giving myself to keep myself on track and just generally trying to eat better get more protein get more fruits and veggies and whole foods my winter diet like definitely falls off like in the winter I definitely get a lot more tired and I crave carbs like many people and I just don't eat as healthily as I do generally the rest of the year. So just generally I'm trying to work on my health and my fitness level right now and really just get myself ramped up for the CT later in the year. Welcome back smoothie season. By the way, does anybody else get really into smoothies this time of the year? I do. It's like clockwork. Every single year I want them every single day. So yeah, that's my big plan, you guys. If you are getting ready for a big trip later this year, I would love to hear what the trip is and how you're preparing. Leave that stuff in the comments. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel for more hiking, backpacking, Appalachian Trail, and Colorado content. And obviously, if you're interested in the Colorado Trail in particular, definitely subscribe. I'll be doing that in August-ish. I'm not sharing the exact dates just for safety reasons, but it'll be like a little later in the summer. And as always, thanks for watching you guys. I really appreciate you and your support and I'll talk to you all next time.